This problem asks us to find the energy required to assemble three protons into a nucleus shaped like an equilateral triangle with sides of length L. The work done by the Coulomb force assembling this nucleus is minus the change in the potential energy. The work done by the outside force is the opposite of that, assuming that the charges come from very far away so that the initial energy is zero. The work done is the total energy of the final configuration. So that's what we'll calculate now. When the first charge comes in from very far away, zero work is required because there's no electric field and Coulomb force to work against. Bringing the second charge in requires an energy U2 equal to the second charge times the potential V due to the first charge. And that's shown here so that we end up with the fundamental charge squared over 4 pi epsilon naught L. Bringing the third charge in requires an energy equal to that third charge times the potential due to the first plus the third charge due to the potential of the second. And that gives us twice the result that we found in the line above. The total energy to assemble all three then is the sum of these and is three times e squared over four pi epsilon naught L. We know the value of one over four pi epsilon naught and the value of the fundamental charge E. We're told what the separation L is between the charges, so when we substitute all of these and calculate, we find that the energy required to assemble the nucleus is 3.46 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. It's common to express these energies in terms of electron volts, so I'll show that conversion here. One electron volt is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, so we find that the work required to assemble this nucleus is 2.16 mega electron volts.